one hopeful step towards a coronavirus vaccine. Researchers at Oxford University in the UK say that the vaccine candidate they began testing in April has made promising progress. We have found that in over a thousand people, the safety profile looks rather good and reassuring. And importantly, we are seeing good immune responses in almost everybody. In research published Monday in The Lancet, Oxford scientists said their experimental vaccine was safe and that it produced a dual immune response in hundreds of people who got the shot. On the one hand, that dual immune response induced the production of antibodies, which are key to blocking infection. And on the other hand, it elicited a reaction in the body's T cells, which are key to fighting infection. Responses that lasted at least two months after patients were immunized. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has called the findings very positive news, but urged caution, saying there are no guarantees. Similar comments coming from the World Health Organization, with reminders that when it comes to a potential vaccine, it's not just a question of time, but also a question of quantity. The challenge uh, is going to be uh, when vaccines do prove clinically efficacious, uh, ensuring that there's enough production to be able to supply the needs around the world. And that is in itself the, the, the big question. AstraZeneca, the British-Swedish drug maker partnered with Oxford to produce the vaccine, has already committed to making two billion doses. But even that may not be enough to satisfy global demand, according to Oxford, as people would require multiple shots to be protected. Larger trials evaluating the vaccine's effectiveness, involving some 10,000 people in the UK, South Africa and Brazil, are currently underway.